And a very good morning. Or is it morning? No, it's the afternoon. A very good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing? Hey, Anonymous. How's it going? Oi, oi. Lady Rose of Hyrule. Hi, lady. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. It is Tuesday afternoon. Maybe. Yeah, kind of, I think. Oh, there's a nasty buzz going on. Was it this? I've just turned it off, so if, if it's gone now... If not, no. Oh, fuck. Uh, right, okay. One sec. <laughs> Would it even be a stream of mine without tech issues? Any better? Right, okay, give me a sec. I need to load up my stream so I can hear it myself, so at least I know what I'm looking for. What a pain. Uh, my channel. Ooh, that is nasty. Right, okay, one second. That is nasty. Right, okay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, the buzz is still prevalent. Hello, hello. The buzz is still prevalent. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> this is why we have echoes. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Just to, just to, just to, just to, just to, just to. Hello? Hello? Okay, it seems to have Hello? taken it to a safer background level, okay. I think. It seems to have taken it to a safer background level, I think. Asking too much of life. Am I asking too much of life? Am I asking too much of life? Apparently so. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> There's a lot of interference on the line, and I don't know where from. Give me a, a second. Interference on the line, and I don't know where from. Give me a, a second. I 
only thing I think of is if it's, if it's either the sound desk or my XLR. You know what the definition of insanity is? You know what the Doing the same of... fucking thing over and over same again and expecting thing things to change. Over and over same again and expecting thing things to change. Over and over again <laughs> and expecting things to change. Over and over again. Sorry, dudes, cat stream. Um, uh, clearly, I need to order an XLR cable. Great. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll see if I could borrow one off uh, off Valen. Where's that? Where's that technical difficulties thing that I used to have? <laughs> right. I'm so sorry, dudes. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm just gonna go try and borrow an XLR cable off my off, off Valen, my housemate. I won't be a sec. Disconnect the whole mic. So that's kind of what I just did, dude. Um, Thank you for the follow there, Lady Rose. I really appreciate that. I'll be back as soon as I can. It sounds okay now. For real? <laughs> Even if I pause the background music. What she did. I think my XLR's fucked, mate. See, I don't even really want the low hum, though. That's the thing. Uh, this, this, this sound board thing was a uh, a free gift off of a friend who'd had it stuck in his attic for uh, many many years so it was bound to give out at some point I think it might have given out still there but much quieter uh, is it would it, was it is it going to disturb your enjoyment of my stream <laughs> right, I can hear Valen bounding up the stairs one sec. So I've switched over to a new XLR cable. Let me just pause the jazz. <sighs> Let me load my channel up and see if I can still hear it. Perfect. Buzzing's gone. Brilliant. Okay. So it was an XLR Perfect. issue. Buzzing's gone. Brilliant. Okay. So it was an Magnificent. Thank you very much for your help, dudes. And thank you, Valen, for the cable. wait till next month but I'll get myself another XLR. This can go in the bin. Goodbye old friend. You have served me well but yeah they do fuck up after a while. I've had that for a, probably about a year and a half now. Maybe even a little bit longer actually I'm not sure. Right get rid of all this crap. 
And it's finally time to play some Zelda. Though I am very quiet now. <laughs> Thank you. How does that sound? Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Yeah. Lots better. Fantastic. Thank you. Ah. Oh. How are we all doing? Did we have a lovely Easter weekend? Um, and thank you for your patience while we fix that, my dudes. Uh, <sighs> oh, it's been a it's been a weekend, a weekend of extreme ups and downs, which is why I am here. I have uh, I have an Easter egg. I'm going to treat myself to an Easter egg to get rid of the stress. Caramel nibbles. Imagine having caramel nipples. Um, yeah. Damn. Um, right. Oh, I don't want to get to go everywhere. Oh, ow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a, an egg do that before. Look at my egg. My egg now has a butthole. Say it, baby. Can't say anything around you. Um, I'm in Thailand. We have Songkran instead. My Thai family bathed me in flower water. Nice. I get um, Little Zone Africa ripoff shower gel. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> weekend was okay. But today has been an absolutely sodding, bloody typical day so far. Blood tests the doctor forgot to send the notes about, and money I needed for tomorrow not urgent, but being taken by a bill today. What a pain in the ass, dude. Valen's punching an orange while I'm punching an egg. Let's just, just punch everything. Um, I sent my ex-wife a message. When was the last time you bathed me in flower water? <laughs> um, we are going to play some Zelda today, my dudes. Uh, so on the last stream... Last week, I uh, finally defeated my childhood nemesis of the Water Temple. So I remembered bits up to that point, but not much, because that was like 1998 or some shit. Uh, so now I'm going into this a bit blind, really. So let me just load this up and see what we can do today. Yoink. I had a little test run of a new game I'd like to stream uh, last night. Um, I got it because it was free on PlayStation Network. Okay, let me just uh, let me know if the sound needs adjusting. If whether you want the background sound either up or down, it's a bit loud for me, so I'm just gonna adjust that. Uh, but I started playing a game last night just to test it, uh, and it was called Evil Genius 2: World Domination. I played it for about an hour, and really enjoyed it. But the controls on a PlayStation are horrendous. It's, you can tell it's definitely a mouse and keyboard style game so uh, i've popped it on my steam wish list and i'm gonna wait till it comes down in price uh, but i'd really like to stream that because that was a lot of fun <laughs> but here we are we have defeated the water temple Udalali, huzzah and i have absolutely no idea what to do next i do think i've got another uh, uh golden spider reward thing to cash in i can't remember whether you need to be in child or adult but it doesn't matter um, can we just get a uh, exclamation mark back seat, please, uh, somebody? This is just for anyone that may be new in the channel. Uh, I ask. I, I talk out loud. I think out loud. I ask myself questions often. Uh, I am not seeking an answer. If I ever ask any, a genuine question, you will see an extremely tidy pop-up, which <laughs> should be a lot bigger than that. Oh, uh, has there been an OBS? Uh, upgrade or something but yeah so if you see that I'm genuinely asking for help if not I'm just talking to myself because that's how I work <clears throat> had my wisdom teeth removed this morning oh no <laughs> that's awful need head pass not allowed to drink coffee much suffering oh my god just coffee in particular can you can you drink like diet coke or something or is it just no drinking anything other than water? Oh, poor thing. Oh, 
I sincerely hope you feel better soon. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, the place is on fire! Heroes on fire. It's you, you little arsonist. <laughs> what have you done to the place? You get for setting fire to the village. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, I've forgotten how nice Capri's caramel is. That's well. The op was good and fast, but now it's that the fun part, yeah. <laughs> Terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakakiro village, has sealed off the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. This dude's going to be Impa's kid, innit, because of the red eyes. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. Oh no. I believe Impa has gone to the shadow temple to seal it again. Ah! She's going to be the Shadow Sage. Mm. Link. Impa, yeah, Impa's one. Hey! <laughs> Impa's one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. Okay. The only thing I can do for you is teach the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. I don't think I want to. <laughs> I've used make me nauseous. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. You can get these, like, uh, stomach liner things, can't you? Da, 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 da. A new tune, that I, another tune for me to forget instantly. <laughs> Lunchtime indeed, Oisky Poisky. I'm having an Easter egg for breakfast, as is tradition on Easter Tuesday. Absolutely lovely. The weather was fantastic. I, I must have sit, seen, without exaggeration, like 200 dogs. The seaside on a beautiful sunny spring day, bank holiday weekend, there were so many dogs it was like, oh it was like paradise. My favourite, sorry. <laughs> My favourite was a a silver Labrador puppy by the name of Moose. And Moose was an absolute darling. Such a beautiful, loving and well-behaved boy. I took a couple of photos, but they weren't very good. But I could pop them in Discord if you like. Where's me phone? Where's me phone? What am I doing with me phone? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I... <laughs> 
let me let me show you Moose in the uh, Discord, my friends, because Moose was an absolute baby. Uh, pets. I'll put it in pets. It's not my pet, obviously. <laughs> Did I really take that many photos? Yeah, they're not the best photos, but they are amazing. And Moose was, or Moose was amazing. Moose was just such a, a darling little boy. Moose, as in, I used to call Duke a moose. That kind of moose. <laughs> I love dogs in an obsessive John Wick kind of way. Yeah, me too, actually. Have you given me my treat yet? Yes, I have. Aha! Hello. What do you offer? The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. It's a stone of agony. If you equip a rumble pack or piss off, it'll react to nearby secrets. Well, shit. I don't have a rumble pack, so that's pointless. Honestly, Oisky Poisky, he was absolutely gorgeous. He was so well behaved and gentle and just an all round amazing doggo. I loved him. I don't even really know where I'm going, so um, I need to find the Shadow Temple, right? Ooh. the non inverted controls. We have this conversation every time I play this damn game. <laughs> and the sensitivity of the stick is just insane. I was going to look in the settings, wasn't I, in RetroArch to see if I can somehow fix it, but I... I, I, I... Hey, baby dude. Baby Dan, but in elf form. The draws water from the depths of the well. Now the well is dried up, though. <laughs> I had a really enjoyable bank holiday weekend that has, as usual, culminated in me being fucked over for being myself. Oh, hell, I can hard relate to that. <laughs> I'm a depressed and angry bean today, so I know what you mean about ups and downs. So I always bring negativity in with me. I wish I could get rid. Goblin Witch, I spent yesterday massively depressed in bed. Um, uh, I, I, I finished the weekend off uh, after Flo had gone home. I uh, went to see an old school friend on Sunday night and I got annihilated. Um, and it, it, it went really badly uh, towards the end so I've been a depressed mess all of yesterday I woke up a depressed mess today uh, but then decided that it was a kick it was a kick that I needed because I seem to have just slipped back into my old habits which of course are the old habits that got me into such a huge amount of mess anyway um, so I have thrown away my weed I have taken a hammer to my bong uh, I'm not drinking anymore uh, I've downloaded like a, an app that helps me track sobriety I've got to take ownership for my shit but yeah yesterday was a, a day of dark 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 thoughts so I I I, I, I feel for you uh, I hope that the darkness for you passes soon and I hope we can all get better this what they're on about. Nope, I'm clearly I've already been here. Oh, something behind it. Have I been here? Oh my good lord, yes. I need to remember that. There was a fairy fountain in the graveyard. You know, but then again, I don't know where to go to get them. No, let's not let's not go hunting for things if I don't even know where they are. That's just that's like that's like metal detector. Um, <laughs> which admittedly, I'd like to have a go at after watching the detectorists because that is one hell of a TV show. Um, right, what was this song they just taught me? 
Let's use it to get somewhere, right? Oh, look, we're a song missing. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Gonna give that a try. <laughs> ah, ah. I'm at the Pacific Ocean. I have no memory. Da, 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 No, I haven't. Hey! One set, my dude. Thank you for your patience there. Just had to shut my window because it was making my uh, door slam. It was still made in. The only way I could be, be any better is to stop being anxious. If anyone has the answer to which doesn't involve encouragement from other people, I'd love to hear it because so far I've just been punished for struggling with anxiety around other people. Um, <clears throat> I've never been punished for anxiety. I don't think. But anxiety is something that I have very recently come to realize is something i suffer from never used to um you know we've, we've talked many times about the the journey i've been on with my mental health um and anxiety seems to be a byproduct of that um i don't know if there is an answer i honestly don't i've had um I've had two of my girlfriends have suffered from extreme anxiety. Um, <clears throat> I, I I don't know where anxiety comes from. I think it's 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 like it's like what are we anxious about? What 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 are we worried is going to happen? Is it because we're worried people aren't going to like us? Are we worried people are going to mock us? Are we worried we're going to do something wrong and get cut off or ostracized from a social crowd? And we start building this in our heads until it reaches a, a, a ludicrous level. If that makes sense, like I think there is there is need to be a little bit anxious about certain things now and again. You know, sometimes stretching your comfort zone and going into a new a new area is um is is difficult, especially if in the past you've been treated badly by people. <clears throat> but it is all in our heads and I think it, it, it must stem from childhood um, because I don't know any assholes anymore at all at all all toxic people have been cut from my life yet the impact on my brain of what they did to me when I was younger still resonates with me today not only resonates it's amplified today and I get lost in my head in a cycle of self-doubt self-worry um, a fair bit of self-loathing in there as well because I've got so much self-doubt and self-worry uh, my thoughts can run away from me uh, into completely ludicrous situations and scenarios which will never happen because I surround myself with really good decent people um, and yet we convince ourselves that something bad's going to happen to the point where we don't want to be out anymore or even partake in something in the first place. I've been really struggling lately because it's like, why try when I'm going to fail? Why, why get out of bed when I'm just going to be depressed no matter where I am? At least, at least, at least I can be comfy in bed. Um, but that is feeding into... I don't know, because it's like... 
I don't think anybody sets out and singles somebody out and says, "I am at least definitely not in my life anymore." I'm going to single someone out and I'm going to, I'm going to give them mental health problems. <laughs> People who bully and judge and everything—they're only they're only projecting their inner self. But I also completely understand Goblin Witch that throwing logic at mental health is uh, is is pointless because. If, if 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 logic cured mental health, there wouldn't be any mental health problems because we are people that can think logically, um, and we can analyze sets of data to draw conclusions. And if that was the case, then we no, no then we wouldn't have any problems because it's like, well, of course it's stupid, of course it's daft, of course it's just a, a, an inner feeling that it's not not true. Um, but it's difficult to see that when you're feeling it because our perception is our reality. So what we perceive to be, what we perceive to be, is true. It's a really difficult one, really difficult, and it's a very alien feeling for me. Uh, people being sympathetic and kind instead of telling me I shouldn't need what I need and opting to not want to spend any time around me because they can't be asked with my need for a bit more affection and kindness than is commonly offered in the world. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I've been okay. I didn't, I didn't expect to talk about this today, but we can do. Um, I, I, I've, I've not been a good boyfriend, uh, especially to Lottie. I used to get so frustrated with her anxiety, and to the point where it did get really irritating and annoying she was so much better towards the end of our relationship because we worked on it for years and years but at the start of the relationship she wouldn't be able to do anything and I'd get real frustrated I'm like oh for fuck's sake can we just go out and do something but we couldn't I understand now that I handled that very badly because I didn't understand social anxiety at that time I was captain confident you know I was uh, very sure of myself very sure of where I was going in life and what I was doing and that's a really really important part of not being socially anxious I think it's just because because doubts will fester and grow and take over our mind like the, like the red weed from war of the world it'll crawling <laughs> crawling <laughs> um, I didn't understand that at the time so I didn't I didn't deal with it very well now I have the perfect understanding of what it's like I would deal with it so much better so I think uh, people getting people will get frustrated because they don't understand you can it's it's a bit like being an alcoholic you can tell someone what it's like to be an alcoholic but you can never really understand what it's like to be an alcoholic until you are one because words you, there's no words that do it justice um I wish there was a I wish there was an external fix for social anxiety but I don't think there is it's got to come from within how to nurture that feeling to come from within I don't know and if anyone figures it out let me know because <laughs> I never used to be anxious and and now I suffer from it quite badly it, 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 it makes no sense because I was not anxious when I had toxic wankers in my life and now I've got rid of all the toxic wankers. Now I'm anxious. I'm anxious that they're... At least, at least when I had toxic wankers in my life, I knew where they were coming from. I could see them coming. <laughs> now I'm like living in fear. It's like, where's the next thing going to come from that's going to destroy me psychologically? And it's, that's, it's crazy. I've not, I've not talked about my social anxiety much, I don't think. I know it's had, you know, you know what my memory's like. But yeah, it is. It's it's it, it comes purely from within. It's like you, we're so afraid of something happening, we don't we don't try. Um, let's have a quick. Sorry, I've just been. A little, blah, 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 blah. That's the problem. It usually comes out of nowhere, so you cannot even avoid the cause or solve the problem. For me, usually movement does the trick, but not always. If I uh, back in the days when I used to take hallucinogenics, if you start having a bad time, best thing you can do is get up and move. <laughs> just that shift in place and movement and doing something can take the edge off what could be a bad trip and having social anxiety is very much like having a bad trip it's awful 
removing all the psychic vampires sucking the joy of life right out of me was the first step to happiness <laughs> everyone knows a colin robinson uh, as a permanent anxious individual i find it generally comes down to have understanding people around you who care about you and also me communicating more about the anxiety like if i cancel plans last minute now i say that it's because i'm too anxious and that's helped me keep friendships and relationships i've also found that if i make excuses that aren't true people just think you're a flake <laughs> if you say to most people like, I'd, I'd like to hope that most people have a friend group if you say to them hey i'm really not feeling well today uh i don't think i can go through with this that or the other uh, hopefully i mean they might be a little frustrated but th hopefully they will understand and support you if not you need to question their position in your life and ever since i started being honest with my friends and saying hey uh, i i can't do this today everyone's like hey no worries talk about it and it takes off the, 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 the pressure of the then self-blame and stuff like that because there isn't any of that because everyone's just said, hey, no worries, I'm fine. And now you could you could say, oh, well, they're just saying that because I'm unwell and they, they, really they're, they're annoyed at me. I don't, I don't think they are. I don't think they are. But if, if you've got a good quality of friends around you, they genuinely want what's best for you. And I'd like to think that I know what's best for me. And yes, if I were to force myself to get out, I might have a good time. However, the amount of work it takes to force myself out of the door and then I might not have a good time or with me personally, because of my anxiety, drink. Because nothing gets rid of anxiety like being blind pissed. Um, I, I, think, I, think, I think social anxiety is being scared about the reactions of others towards us and i think that means that there is something deep rooted inside us that we are not happy with and if you don't fix whatever that thing is it could be different for everybody but if you don't fix whatever that thing is that's, that's within you and it can only come from within you it can only be fixed by you then you're going to really struggle to get over the anxiety without a crutch drink drugs whatever uh i could be wrong this is just this 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 is you know it could be different for everybody again social anxiety is something quite new for me um but i think until i fix the fucking rotten disease that's a point in there when i should be pointing there until i fix the rotten disease that's in here i think that i am going to continue to be socially anxious and and try and, and actively avoid social situations unless it's something I'm extremely comfortable with where I'm going, extremely comfortable with who I'm going with. Or if those two don't account, I'm drunk as fuck. <laughs> um So uh, I've done everything I can to communicate and that has not inspired any change in behaviour or understanding. I can't do more than I'm doing to help people meet me where I am. In that case, those people need to need to leave because they're not helping you sort out what's here. In fact, they're making things worse by pouring guilt and shame onto this, whatever your this is. And it makes us want to hide away. It makes us want to regress. It makes us want to. It makes us. It makes us guilty. Like you say, you're having such a bad day because you feel so guilty and ashamed because of who you are. And those are the kind of people you don't need in your life. <coughs> <coughs> that said. So I'm just thinking here. that said if the i suppose it depends how your friends conduct themselves if they come at you from a point of care love okay there's a bit of disappointment in there fine you, you know we're all uh we're all able to have our own feelings um if they come at you with constructive criticism uh, you know how can we help how can i help you get past this here is the behavior that you've exhibited that i am not happy with talk me through how i can help if, they, if they're willing to take that stance then okay maybe they don't need to get cut out of your life but if it's got to a point after however long 
these people have been in your life where they are no longer that they are, they are reacting purely from a position of anger which causes shame and guilt which makes the situation worse you can explain to them like you know back off I need my fucking time and I need to go through whatever it is I'm going through to come out the other side but then each situation is different and each person's perception of what is happening is different it's that whole you know you could look at a six painted upside down one person sees a six one person says a nine and it's like it's the point of view and I kind of get that but then another person's like yeah well actually no because the original person that drew it drew either a six or a nine it's the, your point of view may be skewered depending on where you are stood looking at it but then the person that drew it might have been a twat and done it on purpose to make this point <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit because I'm losing track of my own thoughts as I'm speaking but I think uh, to to, to summarise we're all going through our own shit everyone, absolutely everyone even, even the happiest fellow on the street secretly they're going through some shit <laughs> everyone's fucked you can't, you can't exist in this dystopian society without being absolutely fucked because everything's just too much back when we were all farmers living around in little villages I guess problems were different we had to worry about just you know where our food was coming from and the crop and stuff like that but our society this this whole huge technological revolution we've lived through has I personally believe destroyed human brains uh, because we're we're not we're not naturally equipped to deal with this shit um, there was one guy I met once who was permanently happy and I mean permanently happy and it was genuine he was genuinely permanently happy I forget his name but he worked as a greeter at the Tesco in Walkden where I used to live in Manchester and he was so happy to see everybody everybody who walks through the door is like hello my friend how are you oh so good to see you you know, and he, and he, and he, and he just he'd, he'd ask you about your day, take some time to get to know you, and then if you saw him out and about outside Tesco, he was exactly the same. He wasn't just doing it for the job, and, and he was, he was mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> we live in a society where the only true, complete happiness can happen if you're mentally ill. <laughs> um. And also, I guess we should also... Uh, another thing, we should stop trying to hold in ourselves to other people's standards. We are, we are what we are. Yes, we can change. Anyone's capable of change. I'm, I'm trying to change because... I don't want to upset the people around me. But so much more than that is I'm trying to change because the causes for people's upset are genuine. I am killing myself with drunk. Drunk? With drink and drugs. It's happening slowly, as it does. You know, wine is fine, but whiskey's quicker, so is suicide is slow with liquor. Bit of Aussie there. Um, but it's happening. So, of course, there is logic in what they're saying. So I'm trying to change, not just to please them, but also to save myself. Bumpy fucking ride. But if someone close to you is saying you have to change and you're like, either I can't or fuck you, why? <laughs> like, you know, why? I, I am I am what I am. But it's all individual cases. I, I, don't know. I don't know. Please don't take anything I'm saying as the truth or gospel. This is just my current interpretation of things in the moment. And that can change constantly depending on my mood and how I'm feeling that day, as it can for everyone. Um, and everybody has to find their own path. Everyone has to find their own solution to whatever it is that's eating them. I think. Um, as shitty it is, I think about what people you still want in your life. As soon as I raised my bar, I lost so many people, but I'm happier. And it's not easy raising the bar and getting rid of people it's not easy when people get rid of you because they've done the same 
it's it hurts especially if you have an emotional attachment to these people but it's 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 it's, it's a it's a fucking paradox because you've got to look after yourself in the moment but you've also got to think about long-term solutions to these problems <laughs> So everyone's like, live in the moment, live in the moment. Um, do you know, there's, there's a perfect video that I'm going to show you. Hang on. I'm telling you. You're going to live life like there's no tomorrow. That's what they tell you, right? Just listen. Yeah. That's what they tell you. Live every day like it's your last. Drink, smoke, have sex, do drugs, blow money, and do it all like tomorrow you're going to get hit by a bus. That's what they tell you, right? What they don't tell you is what to do when you're not dead tomorrow. That's when you got problems. When you've been living like that for 15 years, and now you're just drunk, broke, fat and wheezing, you got herpes and unwanted children, you're going, man, I'm not even close to dead. I'm going to start living my life like my dad's not sending me money anymore. I've been trying to explain to the IRS, I was going to file for the last 10 years, but I was counting on this dead tomorrow thing. It didn't pan out the way I was expecting. <laughs> I love a bit of Doug. But yeah, um, but you do you, you do have to sort out yourself in the current moment, but you do have to think of it long term. Can I sustain having these people in my life if they're continually not causing my ill mental health, but they're certainly contributing to it because they don't understand? Um, I've had to work so hard on my world image in therapy and it has changed a lot. It takes a lot of time of energy. Can relate. The world is a lot kinder now. It, it's all about who you surround yourself with. I spent pretty much my first 21 years of life staring at the floor and shaking when everyone, everyone spoke to me and nobody gave a single celebratory fuck about me. All I can say is it gets better. I, th I think saying it gets better is kind of accurate but also a little reckless because saying it gets better kind of suggests that I can just sit back and wait for it to get better and you can't do that because it, you have to put the work in it has to come from within and I appreciate it was Goblin Witch that started this off but I'm talking to myself now um, you can't just sit back and say it'll get better you have to take proactive action proactive action might be not going into a situation which causes you social anxiety until you are ready to do so and being forced into doing something when you're not ready to do so is is horrible absolutely horrible and even if people have your best interests at heart the way they can go about things can cause things to get worse can not saying will but can um, I don't really talk to anyone anymore because I've done that. My efforts to try and fill my life with kinder people has really been battering me. I'm not sure those people exist. If they do, I can't find them. We're here! <laughs> we understand. Uh, my social anxiety... Hey, Dr. K, how are you doing? My social anxiety increased dramatically when I first started working on dealing with the walls I'd built around myself. The vulnerabilities can feel very real, because it is very real. If something feels real to you, it's real. I, I, when, when I get really bad, like when I, 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 it hasn't happened thankfully for a few weeks. Uh, when I get really bad, I suffer from paranoid delusions, and I create things in my head which aren't real. But my God, they feel so fucking real to me. <laughs> like that is real to me in that moment. What I am feeling is reality. A couple of days later, I can be like, what? How, how could I even begin to think that that was real? Like, I, I, what? <laughs> but in the, ta the time, it's real as fuck. I guess that could be considered psychopathic. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm also really sorry to hear that, Goblin Witch. They're trying to give up hope. Look at all the people in the stream chat. See? Some of us are handsome as well. Um, my anxiety is not specifically social anxiety, so I cannot offer much help on that. I have the stupid kind that randomly triggers the survival instinct for no reason. Very annoying. Thankfully, it doesn't happen too often these days. Glad to hear it, Nairun. 
Uh, I don't have any confidence that people have time to give me. People have their own stuff and I need a lot of time and encouragement from others. I feel everything I need is too much to ask for based on the responses of others so far. So I've given up asking. Um, it, it's, it's tough. Uh, and when... And this is absolutely 100% not a dismissal. This is just uh, an understanding from someone who has been there. Oh, and still is there occasionally. Well, frequently, sadly. Um, that is a lot of that is internal. And you know that's internal because obviously it's an internal issue. But I also see that you feel everything you need is too much to ask for based on the responses of others so far without actually understanding exact situations what you've asked for the way it's been asked for um you know who who it is and 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 yeah it's it's very difficult to be able to overly summarize because the complexity of of human interaction is 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 vast beyond words and there are many 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 different in fact there's, there's everyone's quite a unique individual <laughs> and everyone can respond to things differently um, but I, 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 I'm saddened by the last bit saying I've given up asking. I don't think that's I, I, personally. I don't think that's the answer. It could feel like the answer some days, and I know that when you're in the grip of depression, like I said earlier, throwing logic at, 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 at throwing logic, throwing logic at poor mental health is pointless <laughs> because we build up this this fucking shield, this barrier of this is how I feel. And nothing you say or do will make me feel any fucking better. Even if I want you to, it ain't going to happen because this is how I feel right now. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. <laughs> so it's, it's even got to a point where, um, where uh, one of my friends will be like, hey, I can't talk to you right now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. come in and know me better, man. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome to Chuck's Place. You've come in at a bit of a... Uh, a non-Zelda moment. <laughs> um, uh, like when, I, when I'm when I'm really depressed, and people, are, a friend, I've got one person in mind. A friend is trying to pick me up out of it. We'll be messaging back and forth, and I'll every time she throws positivity and and logic sense at me, I will deflect it. And to the point where now she's recognised this pattern of behaviour and she says, look, anything I say right now isn't going to help because you're not in the position to be able to receive this help. So I'm going to step back, give you the space and time that you need, but I'm here when, you, when you're when you ready. And I'll continue that day being a, you know, a bit of a mess. And the next day, usually I'll wake up and I'll be like, yeah... Yeah, that was that was that was bad yesterday. The things that I thought yesterday, I don't feel today. So now I can accept, and I can go back and read through the conversation, wince at the things I was saying about myself. I'm like, ooh, ooh, you know, you're not in a happy place yesterday, were you? And then thank my friend for their love and support and kindness. I, I guess, I guess what it comes down to is that we as people especially those of us that suffer with major mental health problems, are not always in a position to be able to accept love and kindness and help because we are far too gone into our black pit. The good ones are the ones that stick around afterwards. So when you're having your good days, they're still by your side. And when you're having your bad days, all you need to do is reach out and they'll be there for you. I, I'm, saying, I'm not saying that if you, ha if you have people that are not like that in your life, you have to cut them out. Everyone's going through their own shit. But maybe don't have them as close to you as you do. Ill mental health is nobody's fault. Like I said, it's 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 because again the complexity of life is just beyond imagination. It's like trying to imagine the size of the universe. Every single decision, every single external factor, every single moment leads us to where we are. And if you're like me and like yourself today sometimes that moment can be really fucking shit and if people are if people are exacerbating that instead of helping and and, and helping can sometimes be taking a step back i've, I've understood that again like because if you if, if people are throwing logic at me when i not saying i want to be depressed but when i'm in a place where i am fucking depressed 
and people are throwing logic at me and saying how like oh you're, but you're such a nice guy and it's like no I'm fucking not I'm a scumbag so, <laughs> we need people in our lives that will give us to us to us straight I mean goblin which amount of times you've given it to me straight you know when I've been in a bad way and you've said no you know it's not it's not like that and you're right but I've not been able to accept it at the time but you've not fucked off and ultimately you do help my, my life is better for having you in it you you personally <laughs> um if 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 somebody cares for you then they should try their hardest to always be there for you without judgment but everyone has a limit as i found out with what happened last year everyone has a limit and if that if if their limit has been reached and breached that's their choice and there's nothing you can do about it but if you exacerbate that by pointing the finger of blame at them then that friendship relationship whatever is probably got a ticking clock above it um i'm sorry this isn't happy news <laughs> and i'm only going through my own experiences I don't know. Sometimes I dream of just walking out the front door and never coming back. Grab my passport, hitchhike, beg, steal, borrow, and just fuck off. Because I don't want to face my problems, to be quite honest. It's too much hard work. <laughs> but I also just want to go find some new people. Not that I've got, you know, I, I love all the people in my life. I've, 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 I've curated my friendship group to be very small, but extremely positive, loving, kind, and supportive. Whereas I used to have an extremely huge uh, friend group, like over like four thousand people on Facebook when I had a Facebook, because obviously an event promotion and the work I did and stuff. A lot of them were toxic as fuck, like really toxic, for their own reasons. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't. I don't hate or blame them for being toxic. We've all lived our lives. We've all got our journeys, and they've all led us to who we are. But having a small carefully picked friend group of really understanding and again loving people is important uh, but there's a limit as I've, as I've found out as most people will find out and then it wasn't meant to be I remember when I, when I first split, when I split up with my first girlfriend Jesus I was 26 27 got my first girlfriend when I was like 23 uh, and it was the end of the world for me I thought that was it. Took me long enough to get one at 23. No fucking way anyone's ever going to love me again. Uh, and I was absolutely devastated and convinced that I would never find anybody that would love me like she did. Um, even though she was a cheating gaslight bitch. <laughs> and I say that with love in my heart. I still talk to her occasionally. Um, but it's not true. You you do, you'll always find good people if you look for them if you let if you let them in as well, but of course that can be a problem with anxiety is letting people in close enough to you because previous experiences have shown that if you let people close to you, you get hurt or you hurt them, so you better shut down you better get your defenses up and tell everyone to fuck off but then that just makes that feeds into the problem and makes you miserable. It's so fucking complex, <laughs> it's so difficult to to find a solution, but I guess that's why so many people have this problem because we've all got to find our own solution to it. This morning I got up and I smashed my bong and threw my weed away because I'm no longer, I can't, I can't smoke away my problems. Oh, sorry, no, because you can't, definitely can't smoke away problems. I cannot, I cannot hide from my problems anymore because if I keep hiding from my problems now, I'm still going to be hiding in 10, 20, I'll be dead in 30 years anyway. So that's what I've done today. I, I have made the decision. I've put my fist on my fucking table and I've said I'm fixing this. I hope it works. It might not work. But I'm going to have a fucking good go at it. I can't, I can't just spend day after day after day laying in this fucking bed high. Watching the same shit on YouTube over and over. I mean, it's not the same, but it feels like the same. Other people playing video games, people cooking food. 
over and over again doing nothing with my life why because i'm mentally ill but that isn't the that isn't the cure i don't know what the cure is but it sure as hell ain't that and so new trying new behaviors and trying to regain control of my own thoughts i can i can feel the triggers coming on i know the whole the bloody hell was that i know the whole like the, the trigger word you know, oh, it's, oh, oh look at you you're being triggered it's, it's become a bit of a meme but it, it, a, a trigger is when you feel something changing in your head and it's like oh fuck i don't like this and it's triggering the fight flight or freeze response and i tend to flight or freeze i've not i've not i've not fought for years because it's fucking too hard to fight and it's too easy to get pissed or stoned or whatever and stay in bed but i've after yesterday after this weekend and the state i was in yesterday i've woke up this morning and have decided to fight again because it's only me that can change it and that, and that is the, that is the sad truth you know the the only one that can heal your mental health like my therapist can show me the way but i have to walk that path myself no one can walk it with me i can't say that's the same for everyone but i that is the same for me you can say you can hold my hand while i walk it but i have to be the one that puts one step in front of the other to make the positive changes needed in my life to stop being such a fucking failure <laughs> And I hope that I, I I I hope this talk was helpful. I hope it hasn't upset you further. If it has, please accept my apologies. Again, I'm more speaking to myself than to anybody else out there in chat, um, because I've been I've, I went through it yesterday. Uh, right, <clears throat> that was a uh, that was a uh, hang on. Right, um, I feel like a computer. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I don't have any confidence that people have time to give me. Not true. There's at least one person that will give you time. You've got my number. Use it if you need it. Uh, people have their own stuff, and I need a lot of time and encouragement for others. Oh, yeah, I feel, yeah, I've read that one. Yes, 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 yes. It's usually something that made you that way. Some kind of survival mechanism that once kept you safe is now biting you in the butt. I remember it's my brain trying to keep me safe good way of looking at it oisky poisky and you're absolutely right uh, i feel like a computer who was programmed to be miserable my whole life i've been spent escaping that rotten operating system my parents installed in me <laughs> pretty much all uninstalled now get out of here vista <laughs> for me it wasn't my parents it was my peers but yeah i get that and i'm currently going through the process of uninstalling but it's like opening my dad's laptop and he's got about 10,000 fucking browser plugins. So his actual browser windows, that tiny bit in the corner. Is like, I don't understand why it's not working. It's because you click on everything. <laughs> you put no thought into it. You just click on everything and your laptop is absolutely infested with viruses. <laughs> Always looking for friends if you want to chat. You can DM me if you play games. I'll happily play games with you. If you're in England, I'll happily hang out with people. Uh, I don't get to Sheffield enough. Um, uh, Flo lives in Sheffield, so I really should go to Sheffield more. But I just, at the minute, travelling for me is uh, an expense I really can't do all that much. Although the two quid to Bridlington was pretty damn good. No one has asked me how they can help in ages, even new people. Or I ask for exactly what I need and they say, nah, I don't understand, can't do that. Ask for something else. I, without going into actual specifics, I guess it's quite difficult to understand your current situation and know what's been asked for, what's been denied, and blah 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 blah. How can I help? <laughs> How could we help? Feel free to DM me. Um, feel free to let let it go in chat if you want to. Um, everyone being fucked is more or less why I just suffer in silence. I, I feel really sad to hear that said, Goblin Witch. Uh, yes, everyone is fucked. For the most part i'm sure there are some people out there that aren't but still everyone is mostly fucked um i'd be at least slightly unnerved by a permanently happy person sadly i, I don't know if you were here when i talked hey zobi one <laughs> i don't know if you were here when i was talking about the dude that worked at the tesco near me but he was quite clearly 
like mentally ill, but in the other way, in fact, where he couldn't be sad. He was just happy at everything. Everything was just such a joy to him. I know he was very active in his like local church and stuff like that. Maybe all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> no, I, I went down that road many years ago. Um, <clears throat> there it is. You'd have to have something wrong with you or be completely ignorant of the outside world to be happy these days. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry, I am catching up. Um, I, uh, I, I, I feel like I, I don't understand how people can't be miserable in this fucking miserable shit all over the world. Yes. Okay, no, that was dangerous. Shouldn't say that. It depends on how you view the world. If you look at the world en masse and the human race en masse and the atrocities that happen en masse, you're going to crumble and fall apart. I, I'm no longer religious. I was when I was a kid, not raised by my parents. I got recruited when I was like eight because the church was the only place where I didn't get bullied. Um, didn't last because logic. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, it, but there is a prayer called the Serenity Prayer. Uh, I, I, I misquote it all the fucking time. So let me get it up. It's very, very, very short. And I'm going to change the word God in the serenity prayer to brain, okay? Because we are all our own gods. We have all have the power. Whether, we've, whether we can see it at the time or not, we all do have the power. So I'm going to change the word God to brain. Brain, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, living one day at a time. That's the bit I always knew. I didn't know I was an extra bit at the end. So that's brain, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, which is the world. Courage to change the things I can, which is things about myself, my choices about how I surround the people that surround me, the intoxicants I throw down my neck, and the way I feel and the way I think, and the wisdom to know the difference. The, 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 the human race has failed. <laughs> But there is still real joy, kindness, love and beauty out there. It's just sometimes it's so difficult to see through the fog of misery of which a lot of us live our lives. This is not this is not natural. Human beings are not natural. You don't see fucking lions updating their Snapchats to call someone else a bitch, do they? <laughs> Uh, Dumbledore really hit the nail on the head with the, of course it's happening in your head Harry, but why should that mean it isn't real yeah, that's a good one uh, I just realised after lots of work and self reflection I can't do it on my own so trying to meet that need for help with the journey has been very triggering so far I mean, absolutely, saying you can't do it on your own is, is the first step, because a lot of people can't some people can and they'll tell you the way they did it like, oh yeah you, you could do this mate you could do this i'll just do what i did i'm not you <laughs> don't tell me to do what you did because if i do what you did and fail you're gonna think there's something fucking wrong with me but everyone is completely unique and individual yes we all share similarities but we are everything that's happened to us everything that we feel everything that we perceive to be real is is different So how can you, you, you how can you choose somebody else's method of wellness when you're not that person? You've got to find what works for you personally. <clears throat> um, you'd have to be something wrong with you. I'll be completely ignorant. I'll have to be happy these days. Yeah. Oh no, you got to work for anything nice. Oh, sorry, doggo. I didn't quite get that. And maybe I've said something that I've forgotten. Um, been here for a bit, but got to sleep now. You'll have a good one. Cheers, Icarus. Sorry there was no Zelda being played while you were here. Uh, <laughs> I've been asking every day. I still try, but it really hurts being told no. And I don't have the energy to be told no anymore. It hurts, and I can't feel that sort of pain anymore. Sorry to make you cry a little. Don't worry. Um, please DM me, Goblin Witch, because I think we need to talk about this on a more personal level. I, I, I appreciate you avoiding putting too many personal details in this chat but I think that maybe we could help each other um, get through it uh, so please do DM me um, obviously the the words I can't feel that sort of pain anymore is worrying um, 
<laughs> come to Ireland. <laughs> Incredibly proud of you. Uh, why? What did I do? Incredibly relate, and I know how incredibly difficult it gets to the point of even considering these things and taking those steps. To all oh, right, yes, 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 yes. I get you. Thank you, thank you. No such thing as a failure, chunk. You're doing amazing. I'm not. I'm not, and I can say that with, I can say that with confidence, because you guys, Valen, my parents, my family, my friends. They only know what I tell them, my therapist. My therapist probably got the best idea of where I'm at. There's still a lot, and I mean a lot going on up here that is very, very, very deeply negative. And I'm trying to work through it, but it does seem recently that I've been kind of failing. Got to be a link between my uptake of intoxicants and my lack of self-worth because of all of the things that go along with it. The shame, the guilt the disastrous past so I wouldn't say that I am doing amazing definitely not I'm scrabbling <laughs> I am slowly crawling up this hill <laughs> on my belly knackered sweaty out of breath <laughs> just like fuck's sake I'm just get a little bit high uh, amazing would be like fucking Tarzan swinging oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just swing up the mountain uh, but I appreciate I do appreciate although that said Oski Poiski I'm not completely negating your position I do appreciate 100% that people from an outside perspective do see me as doing well I get that and I do appreciate that and that kind of talk is what might actually help me believe it myself when I do take small victories in things um so thank you for the compliment I really appreciate that that's something I've really got to work on which is shielding compliments people aren't being genuine why? because past experiences but then again yes, that's it's such a it's such a logical thing to base future predictions on past experiences but it's also illogical because the future is unwritten and the past isn't always a reflection of the future it is the further you step back it is world wars famine disease uh that kind of shit the further you step back and look at the picture on mass yes everything's going to repeat itself over and over again until the human race dies out hooray but, 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 but that's that that's all of that all of that life and we're talking the tiniest little tip of a of a fingernail is is you and your life and your world and your job and your partners and friends and family fuck all the rest of it <laughs> god uh, sorry brain grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference <sighs> if do it uh, this this is this is specifically to goblin witch if it, it is it is fine to ask for help it is fine to take help it's fine to take support and love and kindness. I realised this weekend, something I've realised before, but then sort of bury it because I don't want to face the truth. This is my truth, though. Only I can do this. Only I can change it. I can have all the help and support and love, but I am the only one that can actually get this done. And the overwhelming pressure on me that I've put on myself to get well, to get better is fucking huge and it makes me crumble and it makes me reach for the bottle, it makes me reach for the bong, it makes me reach for the shitty junk food which is making my weight barrel out of control, look at the size of this look pregnant for fuck's sake because I'm not dealing with my problems I'm avoiding them through dopamine Drink, drugs, food, sex, whatever. It's down to me. I have to be the one that keeps putting one foot in front of the other. And I don't mean that in a physical sense. I mean that in a, I need to fucking fix myself before it's too late to fix myself kind of thing. So I appreciate the disappointment and the upset where you're saying you're asking people for things and they're saying no. No. Admittedly, I would prefer it if people were a bit more supportive of you. 
maybe people out there will be I don't know again I don't know the situation but it has to come from within if it doesn't come from within it it, it can't come from external things at least that's that's my experience and that's what I've found um I'd say I'm definitely fighting very happy to walk the path if someone is willing to hold my hand I'll hold your hand dude come on you can hold my hand I'll hold your <laughs> I want to hold your hand. Yeah, and, 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 it, and it, it can be very helpful to have to have someone hold your hand. It can help relieve anxiety. It can help give you a bit of internal belief in yourself that you can do it. The only way I think to do it is to do it over and over and over and over again. And if, if, you, if this is just talking about like, like entering a social situation for pure example you enter a social situation and you hate it and you fall apart and you run away you've got to do it again you've got to do it again because it won't always go that way it won't always go that way and every time there is a little glimmer of success in it even if the rest of the entire evening falls apart you need to focus on that glimmer of success it's like planting a fucking seed and then you've got to nurture that seed and water that seed and let it grow and bloom until you're at a point where the seed has become an entire fucking oak tree I, I truly believe it can be done. I know, I know, because I'm an intelligent, educated man, and I've I've seen everyone else's examples, and and and, I, and I've felt it. I have felt it in me before. I know it's possible, but I'm a lazy bastard. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, that is wrong, wrong, wrong. That's fucking. This is this is. But that's good that I'm saying that's wrong because this is my therapy in action. I am not lazy. I'm terrified. I am fucking frightened of failure i am frightened of the world i am frightened of fucking everything and that's a hard thing to admit especially for a big beardy tattoo bloke yeah i'm fucking tough me yeah toxic masculinity stiff up a lip old boy i'm fucking terrified always i'm terrified of how i'm gonna behave i'm terrified of how thank you stupidia I'm terrified of how people are going to react to me. I'm terrified of of failure. Depend, but then again, what is failure? Because if we're relying, if we're, if 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 we're classing failure as, as, uh, as 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 measuring ourselves against the standards of society, then we're never going to win ever, because it's too big, it's too vast, it's too fucking competitive. So I don't even try. And that is a mindset I have got to get myself out of. I was obsessed with the idea of success. Because if I was successful, I could turn around to all those people when I was a fucking child who made my life miserable and say, fuck you, I made it. You were wrong. And the crushing, crippling horror when you realise you're not going to make it like that you're not going to succeed like that because that level of success that kind of social success that materialistic success is inachievable unless you're born into it i, I really believe oh you're a one in a million and so what have you got left when all you can hear is the fucking echoes of your past laughing at you and, and telling you we were right and that's because you're holding yourself to the standards of society. And society is fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> you go, go take a walk out. Do you really want to be like all those people? <laughs> Do you really want to give a fuck about Love Island and Celebrity Big Brother or whatever the fuck? If you do, more power to you. I've got no interest in that. So why, why the fuck would I hold myself to those kind of standards? Success. What is success? Success is inner peace and contentment and happiness and we can get that from the simplest of things it is it, it, it's, it's almost it is like a, like the carrot in the stick the carrot is the promise of wealth success fame glory whatever and the stick is the it, it, it's the oppression isn't it it keeps us subdued it keeps us keeps us fucking anxious it keeps us panicking it keeps us down so just throw the fucking stick away go be happy sitting on a beach <laughs> just go sit on a beach for an hour 
and watch the ocean. That makes me really fucking... I love the ocean. It makes me so happy. So there's me crippled mentally in bed saying I can't get up, I can't get out, I can't do anything because I'm a useless, worthless failure. As proven by having to stay in bed all day. But I could go out and get, I could go out and be happy within minutes. It just depends on what it is that I think I need to become happy. I could go for a walk on the field opposite the house and go see some dogs. There's always dogs on that field. That'd make me so happy. Only temporarily. But then I guess that's all happiness is. <laughs> and I, I, I do appreciate that I am also going through one hell of a midlife crisis. You know, I'm 40 in a few months uh, and unemployable, ill and in bed a lot. So, of course, I feel like I'm a failure because I'm setting myself by society's standards. It's it's painful being a cog in a machine that I detest, but still being a cog in that machine anyway, because to completely remove yourself from society would mean you'd have to go live on a, a coven somewhere, you know, like a, a community of, of, of farmers and, you know, with no electricity and, and all that shit, which, which sounds idyllic, but I bet the reality of it is fucking awful. <laughs> How would I watch Bake Off? <laughs> uh, I never respond when people say there's anything they can do to help. I think it's a nice gesture when people say, oh, anything I can do to help. You just say, no, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Next time someone says, is there anything I can do to help? Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I've got about four and a half grand of debt. Can you, can you give me that? And don't ask for it back. <laughs> No, I can't do that anymore. Don't say if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> oh, you mean anything within reason, right? Anything that will inconvenience you too much, right? Okay, be specific. Otherwise, I'll ask you for four and a half grand. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus can't help you. Uh, so many windows open and sound coming from one you can't seem to find. And a virus jogging along in the background, deleting files is how ADHD feels for sure. I've even stopped trying to remember things now. Um... I actually don't like one. First time I heard it was when I was young. My mum was watching a co concert behind the scenes of Robbie Williams' concert. He does that prayer with the whole crew just prior to going on stage. But instead of God, he substitutes Elvis. <laughs> I love it. The whole little thing is full of Elvis. Oh, <laughs> between the lines. Oh, Elvis, give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, our biology and uh, life experiences are too complex for a one fix for all solution. 100% doc. Um, everyone has a different path up the mountain. I moved to the other side of the world and went all religious and shit. Wouldn't work for everyone. It's fair dues. Hey, if it works for you. <laughs> Basically, I'm always not. I'm almost always happy. Well, that's that's amazing, dude. You get you found what worked for you. It won't work for me. I mean, going to the other side of the world might be. I don't think religion's going to save me. I've been I've been through that bit when I was younger. Um. Life is a massive sandbox game. Needs several patches. <laughs> hey, if we're out, yeah, sorry, we're having a bit of a deep chat this morning, um, this afternoon even, just because uh, a member of the community is in need. I'm not very well. A lot of us aren't very well. Uh, this is like in my in my red poem. I say we're the geeks, the freaks, the beautiful uniques, and we are. You know, every every everyone's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elon Musk is a good example people think of him as a success but what good is it to have all the money in the world if you're a cunt I also found out he was born into money because his parents owned a very dodgy emerald mine where lots of deaths and things happened <laughs> it's like ooh ooh uh, yeah fuck Elon Musk Elon you're a dick you're a giant fucking quivering dick um I have the urge to quote some of my favourite gladiator quotes that I feel are relevant. Uh, when a man sees his end, he wants to know there was some purpose to his life. I, I think that is actually a quote from Marcus Aurelius. Um, he was quite the philosopher, uh, was that, that particular Caesar. Uh, but yeah, I hear what you mean. I also found out they're, they're actually releasing Gladiator 2 next year, or later this year. He's dead. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Eva Um I hope I spelt that I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, welcome to Chuck's Place. <laughs> hope you enjoy your stay. We, we we do play video games. Don't you be right. Didn't want to 
interrupt the important Cheers, appreciate that. Three month three sub. <laughs> it's totally important chat. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, if I could have just one conversation like this a day and a lot more hugs than I get now, I'd honestly be fine. Yes, ideally followed by going to the beach. Absolutely. Well, you've got my number, dude. And I'm not saying that, you know, oh, you, you should message me whenever you're ready, whenever you want to. Feel free to message. I don't do much with my days. <laughs> um, Evie. Thank you, Evie. Uh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of film and TV quotes is, uh, are um, quite valid. I mean, writers know what they're writing. <laughs> Next year, Gladiator 2. And what I read, it's going to focus on the boy Lucius from the first one. Ooh, I feel very apprehensive about it. Yeah, how about that shadow tab? <laughs> What a tangent, but you know what? That was an important tangent. That is, uh, that that was needed. So thank you for bearing with us while we discussed uh, those things. Oh, I see. So it took me to where am I? Ah, I'm at the top at the back. Ah, yes. Thank you. Yes, yeah, stream links would be great. I love Robbie Williams as well. His first two. Solar albums are absolutely magnificent examples of 90s pop. I'm going to hazard a guess that I need to use a spell because that's all of them at once. What if I hadn't picked the spell up yet? I suppose I'd have to run around until I found it. I just need to tell someone thank you for engaging with me. Anyone, anytime, Goblin Witch. And I know. I. I I, I hear these words directed at me often and I don't believe them, but it is true. You're not a burden, okay? <laughs> You're a very well-loved and respected friend. You're a fantastic member of this community. Everyone here has got a lot of time for you. Come and unload whenever you need to, okay? Oh, game volume. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's because I turned up the um, I turned up the comedy section. Hey, Selt, how we doing? I just want to say, I fucking love you, dude. Nah, thank you. <laughs> Your streams have helped on days when I just can't deal, so thank you. I, I, that's absolutely fine, dude. Absolutely my pleasure. Yeah, exactly right, Beardy. I turned it up for Doug Stanner. Let me know if it needs... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I can tell already it needs knocking down a wee bit more than that. There we go. I think that should be good. La, 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 la. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. The shadow will yield only to one with the eye of truth. Handed down in Kakariko village. Okay, is this the shadow temple then? Hmm. Wait a dang second, man. I just got I don't know, Zobi. It's a very it's not a very active Discord at all. It's uh it's just nice and quiet but yeah we're, we're always there for people to chat to and uh if you especially if you post lots of pictures of dogs in the pets channel i'm gonna love you forever only one who has sacred feet can cross the valley of the dead sacred feet i did read last night okay no that's doom uh, i did read last night that apparently a so, some some boffins out there have created a sequel to this game a fan-made sequel based entirely on this engine with whole new dungeons characters quests and it's apparently it's like excellent and it's a free patch you can download you just patch it into this uh, so after this i know there's majora's mask but i'm kind of considering playing that and seeing if it's any good uh right okay so don't fall down the pit didn't expect the foot fetish arc of Zelda. <laughs> Haven't heard of that, might look it up. Um, do, I can't remember what it was called, but I, I saw it in a news article dated yesterday, so it's... Uh, make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is descent into the deep darkness. What? How do I know what the skull of truth is? Can I bomb these? Hang on, didn't I go? Didn't I come through this one? I did. So is any others passable like that? Nope. It is. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh yeah, I saw the bits about um, 
uh, uh, I saw the bits about someone remaking it in Real Engine. No, this is re they've, they've made a complete original sequel using all of this stuff, and apparently it's like a real a real labour of love. One who oh my god! So what's this Eye of Truth? Oh, they've got eyes on. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. I have a feeling I need a tool to figure out what's going on here. Oh, hello. Aha! Oh, God. Right. Let's... Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Uh, you rolled straight from my stupid comment onto the mic. Look it up from Beardy. It really took my brain for a second. Sorry. I, I, I work fast internally. And, and my tongue is also very fast. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, right, I need to get the hell out of here. I need to figure this eye of truth. Was that the one? Not to take it back to the graveyard, was it? Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. I don't cover anything inappropriate a wretched hive of scum. We must be cautious. That's it. The sealed palace. And let's have a bit more of my chocolate. Right, so I need an Eye of Truth. I know what I can do. Let's get out of the graveyard first, because all these things are going to eat me. She's going to eat me! Have you seen the tremendous dub of the Alec Guinness line? Literally just that line, but it's fucking hilarious. No, I haven't. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's talk to Saria. She tends to know what's going on in this world. Was that the right one? Oh, no, Saria's song. There it is. Because that didn't, that didn't feel right. Uh, down. Down, right, left. Down, right, left. We have way too much chocolate. This is this is all I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, talk to Saria. <laughs> It'd be funny if she answered him and was like, What is it? I'm on the shitter. <laughs> Can't a girl crap in peace? <laughs> Ooh, how lovely. I mean, ah, I've not been a kid yet, have I? Right, okay, oh, I have, but no, but I didn't tell me where to go. Right, so. Okay, I think that might have been a hint. I'm gonna head back to being a child. That monster, it came out of the well in the village. Let's go. Ah, Navi's actually worth her money for once. I was about to go back in time. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. It came out of the well. Right. Well, well. Parents would overwatch spoiling the twins. It's requiring so much willpower to not eat at all. Bin it. <laughs> or donate it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I've got bombs, so fuck you. Doesn't look like a bombable wall I've seen before, though. Uh, ah. Hmm. I don't 
don't think it's a Song of Time one, but... Was that even right? <laughs> yeah, it was... Nothing. Well, maybe I need to come back here as a kid. Navi bring in the navigation. Sat nav. Could re record a sat nav thing. I heard once the sat nav done by Brian Blessed. That was hilarious. Especially if he took a wrong turn. <laughs> yeah, imagine Navi. Listen. Take the next level. Listen. Continue on it. Uh, oh, actually, I've got a horse now, haven't I? I always forget about my horse. Uh, 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 uh. Right, okay. Hey, hey, listen. <laughs> Make a legal U turn. Uh, what fucking good is that? Turn you into a glue stick. Come on. Right, I'm going to take Saria's uh, words literally. How do I stop it? No. No. No! There we go. <laughs> Quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. Calm down, Dalai Lama. Sorry. If I were to let you suck my tongue, would you be grateful? people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> Alright then. Fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in how you sell ghosts. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. <laughs> the ghosts called Poes are spirits of concentrated hatred appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a poor, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> You've got money in here anyway. Whatever, I'm full anyway. I can't afford, I can't, I've got no use of money right now. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to be a kid again and see if I can get to the bottom of the well. Even though I'm pretty sure when I was a kid, the well was full of water. And this is the way to drain the water. Things. So, 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 if the Pope came out as a paedophile, you'd be like, well, you know, Catholics. <laughs> Not the Dalai Lama, man. Hey. Jesus. Oh, it's you again. Sorry. Let's change the subject. Okay. Now to recall the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. And if you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. Okay. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. That is. <laughs> I'm Buddhist. I ain't defending that shit. <laughs> 
it's 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 a sad it's a sad indictment of the times. No, it's a sad example of the time, whatever. Where I just I'm not shocked by anything anymore. Like that bloody Kentucky shooting where the kid walked into the, where he worked and gunned down five people. I'm just reading through it. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this, this is normal. <laughs> it's like how how could this become normal? Politicians are being corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if, if Rishi Sunak was secretly filmed dressed as a French maid with his knob in a boiled ham, I'd just be like, huh, yeah. it would not shock me. I, I'd just be like, whatever, you know. Or if it turned out that he was uh, secretly giving money to Russia. <laughs> I'd be like, huh. yeah. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, new tune. I'm not usually a big eater of chocolate at all, but I'm really enjoying this egg. <laughs> Something about Easter egg chocolate just hits different. I don't know what it is. Time itself in your hands. Oh, what's that song? Was it Idlewild? You held the world in your arms. I like that song. We'll be together again. I am really looking forward to. Uh, so that Valen puts on club nights and stuff. Obviously, most people know about Ken, but um. He's doing a, a, a cyberpunk night in Hull, and I'm DJing in the main room. And I am very, very excited. Five hours of synthwave, EDM, and industrial. It's going to be beautiful, man. I can't wait. Peace, Bork. <laughs> um, it would make a good Cameron cosplay <laughs> nobbing a pig. <laughs> Sorry, a pig's head. Hey, we all do crazy shit at uni. Um, doesn't it sound amazing, Doctor Sphere? I was, I was when, when he asked me to do it, like to DJ it. I, I, I said yes, uh, and then I was extremely nervous because, although I adore the genre, I've never DJed it before. But since then, I have been educating myself even more in the genre. Uh, and I am ready, and it's going to be great. <laughs> There's going to be so many crunchy fucking beats. It's going to be fantastic. La da 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 da. Don't have a horse because I am a child. Ba ba da ba da. But just to go back to what I was saying about uh, making the decision today to clean my act up again a bit. Um, you might see me streaming a lot more. Because it's the distraction I need. You know, when, I'm, when I've got the camera on me and I'm playing video games and trying to be an entertainer. Uh, it's It takes my head out of myself. If that makes sense. You're going to be full of water now, though, aren't you? Oh, maybe not. Yes, you are. Oh, but can't I dive now? Oh, I've got steel boots! And a, and a blue tunic! Yes, of course, of course! Um, oh, no, I don't, because I'm a kid! Oh, that's bollocks! <laughs> Shit, I got really excited, then. Crappy little dagger. Get out of here. No, oh, ladder. Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three features. Maybe I'm backing up the wrong tree here. Oh, hang on. This is the first time I've been a kid since... 
learning the thing that pissed this geek guy off. God, I love this tune. I don't know how to actually do the song. Give me a sec. Song of Storms, was it? There it is. Bollocks. Ah! <laughs> Quite fast, actually. Way! <laughs> Who needs Alton Towers, eh? Wait, now what? Has <clears throat> that made the water go away? Can't tell. It has! Epic! And there goes my knees. Like, oh shit, it's not even blocked. Right! <laughs> ah, because I'm super small again. Right. Only one song left to that. I hope it's Master of Puppets. Right, before we go delving into what's at the bottom of this well, my friends, I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, so I shall be. But a moment.
Thank you for bearing with me there. <coughs> Decided to uh, get a drink as well. <coughs> oh, a sneaky stream. It is a little bit sneaky. I didn't advertise it anywhere. Um, <coughs> right, here we go. So we're at the bottom of the well. The weather's gorgeous. I am thinking of barbecuing uh, for tea because it's about time that I did the first uh, first burn of the year to get rid of the winter scum. And while I'm doing that, I may as well, you know, uh, stick some bed. Hi. What is it? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. Oh, That's what they asked me. <laughs> oh, thank God. I almost had to follow a goatee. 102 days of beard follow. <laughs> hey, Exodus1990. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay. Um, uh, what the hell is that? Um... <laughs> so, you, so for 102 days you've been following at least one streamer with a beard. Nice. Fellow bearded brother. There's just nothing better than a beard. Oh, nothing better than a beard. God, I wish the beards would reform. That was so much fun. Uh, there is a Amigo the Devil UK tour that's been announced with his full band. And he's hitting so many towns, and I want to go to them all, but I can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing Leeds and Manchester, uh, maybe Newcastle. Ah! I plan to make a beard tier list after day 1,000. 
I mean, he, he doesn't stream, but my mod Beardy Dan is the god of beards. The, the man is, he is more beard than man. It's, it's ridiculous. Scientists are baffled. <laughs> The weather was gorgeous here on Saturday, but windy and pissing down now. Uh, yeah, the weather in Bridlington on Saturday was beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, we won a duck. Where's my duck? I can't find my duck, but we won a duck. It'll go with my little duck collection here. Uh, right, okay. Silver rupees. Oh, what the oh, it's toxic water. It's the river humper. Oh, piss off you. Oh, fuck. Right, okay, let's not do that then. Go away! Help! Run away! Run away! Ah, the sensitivity! Right, fuck it. Can't be asked. Don't swim in the river hole. But yeah, I think, I think a barbecue is, is definitely needed. I made uh, bohemian orange chicken on Saturday evening with a, oh god it was so good, a lemon, coriander and feta sweet potato mash. <laughs> Because the uh, the chicken was quite salty, and then the um, the citrusy sharpness of the sweet potato was just the absolute perfect pairing. Right. Oh, it was so good, Doc! I swear. Yeah, you said that last time. Is this the same place? Can I go through that wall as well? No. Okay. Oh, blimey! But yeah, it was really, really, really magnificent. Oh, hello. Really easy to make as well, if you want to search the recipe doc. Oh, have you made your cake yet? Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Hmm. Black pudding pizza. Wow, never thought of that. The, the, the most, the weirdest pizza I ever made was a Sunday roast pizza. So I obviously made the pizza dough, but instead of instead of uh, marinara sauce, it was a, a, a mushroom and onion caramelized caramelized onion gravy, uh, and then the topping was tender stem broccoli, uh, roast beef, carrots, and roast potatoes, with a little bit of uh, cheese on top. Would love the recipe, and no, not made it yet. Depression keeps getting the better of me. Sorry to hear that, dude, but I can guarantee that this cake is a depression killer. <laughs> not only that, but it's also, when you do it, and you do it right, which I know you will, it's a sense of achievement. And I think that's what we all need a little bit more of in our lives. But we always, like, like I was saying earlier about success and failure... Stupid chest. Um, well, like I said earlier, um, we hold ourselves to the standards of success of the, of, the, of the society as a whole. I'm really proud of myself today for not just laying around in bed wallowing about what happened this weekend. I'm really proud that I got up out of bed. I went. I got dressed. I went. I got showered. I went outside. I went to the pharmacist to pick up my new head meds, and I then came home. And instead of getting in bed and just eating myself to death. I got on. I got on stream. That is a fucking achievement, and I am very proud of myself. And just daft little things like that can most definitely be classed as an achievement. Make the cake. It tastes amazing too. <laughs> Mushroom curry pizza. Interesting. No, because curry for me doesn't go on, doesn't go well with cheese. Oh, not you again, dick. Yeah, that's right. Sit down. Right, so the silver things are still gone. What the fuck? Sit your ass down. Never had a paneer curry. Yeah, but cheese is... Uh, paneer is not the same as, as like, cheddar, is it? You don't put paneer on a pizza. Or do you? Um, I found a recipe online yesterday, I think. 
for homemade paneer, which I'm definitely going to try. I've got this recipe for the most simplest but delicious curries. I've made it a few times now. I make it, you make it in the pressure cooker. I'm falling in love with my instant pot a bit. It can do all kinds of stuff. Recipe. No, not made it yet. No, I will send you the recipe. Just remind me. Um, oh, instant pots are amazing. Oh, fuck off. Can you kill them, bastard? Oh, hello. Big chest. Big chest. It's a map. Son off. Nobody likes you. Go away. Um, oh. Craft Pub in Perth does a breakfast pizza that has black pud on it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, fuck off. I went the wrong way because I was looking at chat and thinking about full English pizzas. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. I think I prefer the egg to be scrambled. And I, I, I have had fried eggs on pizza before. Right, I've been here. I've been here. Sod off! There are no more silver dollars here. Let's go back up here. Here's off! No, I'm a bit, a bit in love with my instant pot. Like I can do like restaurant quality pulled pork in about 40 minutes. Superb! Absolutely fact, I'm going to do some of that later because I've got uh, a bit of pork that I need to use in. And I've got uh, leftover from the... Leftover from the... Uh, um... The chicken I made on Saturday, I've still got like three oranges left. So I was thinking of doing like an, a, a Mexican orange, almost like a pork canitas, but without the milk. Um, so like a, like an orange, a, a spicy, smoky orange pulled pork. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I make them myself now, Doc, so I'll, I'll send you the recipes for anything. I, I did one a few weeks ago, which was uh, heavily used uh, ah. apples and apple juice. Ah. Oh, God, so good. <clears throat> right, I can do it with the compass because I keep getting extraordinarily lost. I've been here. Hello. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Have I been here? I just can't tell it. Oh, it's hot. I can't see. brisket my dude is that beef and especially brisket is extraordinarily expensive <laughs> and i am very poor so a fiver for a big slab of pork the same equivalent in beef would cost me like 18 quid these days especially brisket it's a shame <laughs> smoker sadly i've got a weather master touch but it's it's difficult to smoke on it not like to get real proper smoky effects oh look there's a bloody chest down there how do i drain the water okay there's a quest drain the water where's the water coming from Enlighten me. What is a ground smoker? <laughs> Joey! 
Hey! How are you doing, dude? Thank you for dropping by. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Dive, damn you! It's a fire pit dug down four feet and put in your wood and cover the hole with a metal sheet. I don't have the land. <laughs> Sounds fantastic, Lake. Hey, the great Zelos. Cool name. Howdy, my dudes. How y'all doing? We've had a pretty good day. It's, uh, you know, ups and downs, strikes and gutters. The dude abides and all that. Uh, would it be easier to use my fire spell? Is something going to come out of all of these coffins and try and eat me? Yep. <laughs> ah, you're a farmer. You have way too much land. Totally fair, dude. Totally fair. Whereabouts in the world are you? Oh my god, I set the mummy on fire. Oh! Piss off! You were on fire a second ago! Oh, there's another one there, right? Get burned. Ah, another one of Newfoundland Canadians! You and Joey have got on swimmingly! <laughs> cool dogs as well. I think we've got a few Newfoundlands, actually. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Also, the price of beef in America is so. Uh, sorry, not America, again. In the North American continent is so much cheaper than it is in the UK. Oh. Just drop by to say hi to my favourite ginger. Wait, Megan. <laughs> hey, sushi. How are you doing? It's been a, it's been, it's been a, a, an extremely tumultuous roller coaster of a weekend. Um, parts of it's extreme highs followed by extreme lows. But yeah, all in all. Uh, do you bring an ugly stick to kitchen? <laughs> I fucking love ugly sticks. Most greatest musical instrument I've ever heard of in my life. Right, they're all open. That'd be life, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be life. Right, so apart from a shitload of bats, what do I get from doing all this? Oh, I can get in the buggers. I don't know, I can't. Oh, it's a key! A silver key, no less. Da -da -da -da. The ugly stick? Man, we use the gay stick. <laughs> You've got a gay stick? No, the ugly stick. I used to think, you know, when someone said, oh, you were, they, sh like, they fell out the tree and hit every, and hit the ugly, oh, bin to the, <laughs> um, when people say, oh, you've been, like, beaten with the ugly stick, I just thought it was, like, a, a horrible way to insult people and say that they weren't very attractive. I didn't realise the ugly stick is a genuine Canadian musical instrument. I was absolutely gobsmacked when I found out, and I think it's amazing. <laughs> right, so... Is there nothing in this room? Apart from the silver key, is that it? It seems a bit extravagant just for a silver key, like. Uh, I really would like to try and kill you. Oh, use the bombs, man. No. No, I don't think they could be hurt, you know. Been hit with the ugly stick. Yeah, yeah, it's just some of the used to say as kids. But no, it is a genuine musical instrument. Um, gotta head out. Good seeing you all. Good meeting Hexus. Hey, Joey, I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. And I hope to see you on stream soon. I do love your streams. Again. Ah! 
I do remember at one point. Oh, hello. That was what I was looking for, and I've just noticed the Triforce on the floor. Right. Which means I could do a song. Uh, I think that's the one. Ah! <laughs> Goodbye, what the... Uh, it's a Minecraft thing, just mega enchanted stick called the Gear Stick. I mean, I've played my fair bit of Minecraft, but I've never, uh, <laughs> I've never come across that. Um, it's a stick hammered full of bottle caps. Uh, we literally made an ugly tree a few years back so we could tell people they fell from it. Oh, be nicer to people. I'd give you a follow, but I'm already at Twitch's follow limit of two thousand. There's a follow limit? Holy crap! I had no idea. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just bookmark me or something. I'll get rid of somebody you don't watch. I'm joking. Um, hit me with your ugly stick. Hit me. And that's rhythm stick. Yeah, that's why. That's why I thought so. I was like, holy crap! I didn't know that. Right, what's down here then? Bombs. Oh, that's flammable. Thanks. Right, let's go find that underground chest. Underground, overground, wombling free. The wombles of Wimbledon come and are we? Making good use of the things that we find. The things that the everyday folk leave behind. No, 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 down. Down. Yeah! Oh, it's only a little one. I thought it was a big one. I've still got a key. Oh, there is a locked door somewhere. Compass, please. No. Bombs. Mm. This way there's somebody to watch no matter when I look. That's totally fair, dude. It's incredibly rare for me to have... Uh, um, nobody online. Although now you've got me kind of curious as to how many people I follow on Twitch. How do you find that out? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure there is a way. Is there? No, I don't see. A, I don't see anything on there that shows me a way. But um, yeah, two K. That's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> American Psycho. I just had to follow a lot of people. <laughs> ah! Pissing hell. You're all discombobulated from Easter. I thought it was Monday. I was going to ask about tunes later. That's totally fair. No, no the, the tunes are coming back, but uh, this looks fun. Uh, yesterday, I was in absolutely no... Oh, my God! State to be doing it. Get off my face! Stop! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! What the hell is that? Get away from me! No. Oh! It's... Oh my god, that's evil! What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> fuck Nintendo did kids games! Nah, that doesn't hurt. Yeah, damn right you're gonna run away. Well, I mean. Where'd you go? Blocking me there. Oh, I didn't even see there was a chest. A 200 rupee when I have a max limit of 200 rupees and I've already got 200 rupees. <laughs> Handsy fucker. He thinks he's cute. Aww, thank you. <laughs> he didn't care about mental trauma in the 90s. Yeah, true that. Is this thing meant to like pop back out at me or something? I'm trying to stay away from these hands. Oh, I get it. It has to grab me before he comes out. There we go. Come 
there. And again. It's so bad. It's so bad. You ain't nothing. Apart from being difficult to kill. thing I've been looking for. Okay, we'll sod the compass then. Let's get the hell out of here. Be sure to try to use it outside of the well. Seeing the truth will cost magic power. So if I see again to stop using it. Okay. Hey. What is the truth? There is no spell. Well, I've got no seeds left. <laughs> this is what you get when you mess with us. I mean, is that it? Is, is this not like a, a dungeon with a proper boss? Can I just leave? Hmm. Hmm. Give some magic power. Thank you. And a stick. Found the spoon, sir. Good work, Sergeant. All right, all right, all right. How, how do I get into that, then? <laughs> oh, I see. It's, it's that thing again. Right. Well, I've been there. I've done that. I feel cheated. Oh! Fuck off, then. You get to live. Doors everywhere! Ah, oh, there it is! Why, why would I need to go through that now, though? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh! Can I not choose my ocarina and get the hell out of here? Oh, then what if there's, like, all the treats in here? Like, uh... Uh, maybe there's like a, a heart in here, like a big heart or a heart piece. I do. You never give me your money. You only give me your silly paper. Hmm. Sure, why not? So that was at the bottom of the well. But now I need to... Uh... Oh, it's the owl. Please don't talk to me. You're incredibly boring. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Actually, maybe he's got some important stuff. Um, what is he doing? Okay. Lovely. 
I know I've been there. I need to go back to the graveyard, don't I? Um, no. I don't want to go to the castle. I'm good here, thank you. Oh, look at that, there's a bloody Skulltilla thing there. It ain't got any bloody things. Oh, hang on, the boomerang can get that, can't it? I totally forgot about the boomerang. This could take a few moments. Oh, sod off. Right, hold it, and then let go. See, I get a new wallet, I think. Uh, two more. Oh man, the last of my Easter egg. Hey, weird dude. Okay. Now, you should be able to dive deeper. Well, sod you. Isn't this where the fishing thing is as well? This is some sort of vague tickling at the back of my mind. Is that it over there? Whoa, there's a woodlouse on my wall. Hey, dude. What brings you here? There's no wood here. <laughs> Hello, hello, what's going on? What's all those insects? There's no wood here. How you doing, buddy? He looks like a happy little chap. Hey up, dude. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Hell yeah! Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. In the rumble pack, you can feel the vibrations of a fish on your hook. <laughs> this time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B, okay? Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the stick. Ah! ah! What are you doing in my stream? Hey, Aslan! How are you doing? Thank you so much for bringing your people over. Have you had a good day? Thank you for the shout out, Beardy. Uh, ah, more Vampire the Masquerade. Fabulous stuff, fabulous stuff. Um, still not played it myself, but... <laughs> had a great day. Nice, good to hear it, dude. That's what we like. Bit, a bit, bit, of, uh, bit of good news, you know? Uh, I've just eaten the last of my Easter egg. <laughs> Uh, my I, I don't really play PvP, I'm afraid. Um, I'm much more of a co oper kind of thing. As, although I will admit that the Evil Dead game is very good. Uh, I've been playing that with some friends offline, and it is really fun. Uh, but it's very, very brutal. <laughs> like, really, really gory. Um, I said uh, yesterday I, I tested a... Um, I'm skipping through this without actually learning how to fish. I tested a... Um, uh, a new game called Evil Genius 2 World Domination and I loved it uh, so I'm going to give that uh, a go on stream at some point I need to finish Zelda first though finishing Zelda is an absolute key right so look at a fish cast line okay oh yeah 
Oh, yeah. Come on, then. Take a bite. Oh, shit! Change the screen, you fucking cockwomble. <laughs> yeah, that's you at the end, Warlock, going, yay! <laughs> If anybody else wants to join in in telling me to change the screen and calling me a fucking cockwomble, all you have to do is record yourself. <laughs> Got to do it in the right timing, though. Oh. The fish fucked off. Eat me! Oh, come on! You were about to take a bite, then. Don't go away. So yes, 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 yes. What a great idea. What a great shot. What a great shot. <laughs> it's, it's cock womble. So <laughs> Change the screen, you fucking cock womble. This isn't working, is it? No, stop! I don't want to do that! <laughs> I want to keep bringing it in. Right, let's move positions. Oh, bloody chocolate's giving me indigestion now. That's the first time I've heard it with my stupid contribution. Technically, you've got two contributions in there, because one of them is you, and one of them is you as Kermit. <laughs> Submitting Kermit. I think you did too, anyway. What gives? Maybe I should have listened to that guy more about how to fish. start playing the last Zelda before the new one is out for me to also forget to play. Is there a new Zelda out? You're not referring to the fan-made one, are you? We've just been discussing that. Well, I say just been discussing that. It was a while ago now, but... Come on, man. At least your brother's bit. Bite me! This is ridiculous. Right, I'm going to talk to that dude again, because I think I'm... Fuck! I think I'm skipping out on some sort of fundamental of fishing here. Tears of the Kingdom, the Breath of the Wild sequel, fair dues. Again, this is only my second Zelda game. <laughs> uh, I've been on the same boat for about the last year. I, I mean, I'm sure they were great. Just, they were a lot of time, aren't they? Zelda games were a bit of a time sink. Uh, what do you want? Let's talk about something. You want to try another lure? What are you talking about? Are you so selfish? What? Don't you know the old saying? A great fisherman never chooses his own lure. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that saying. What I'd like is for you to teach me how to fish again, please. Well, that sucks. Do you teach me how to fish? Walk quietly. Okay. He says, walking very fastly. Loudly. But fair, that fish was a good time. <laughs> I miss how much... T I realise how much time something needs and walk away until I have time. Then never get around to it. Meanwhile, put 200 hours into solitaire or something. 
I, uh, I saw recently that my Deep Rock Galactic has over 300 hours on it. I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been playing that too much, really. There's nothing here. you <laughs> Ah you fuck I think because I uh accidentally skipped the fishing tutorial I need to read it <laughs> how to fish in ocarina Cast your line using B and press A to restart. Yeah, I got that. Once uh, the lure has been dropped, you can wiggle the bait around to attract the fish. Once you feel a tug, press and hold the A button while pulling back on the circle pad. Circle pad? You mean the stick? Uh, hold down A and R to reel in the fish faster. Bigger the fish, stronger the fight. Seems like controlling your real win with the circle pad. Circle pad. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> seems fishy. <laughs> Don't want that one, I want the big one! Have any big ones. You know what? Fine. I'll go through that one. Oh, it's a little nibbler. Did I set the hook by pressing A and down? No. This sucks. Um because the game wins lots of awards but isn't actually that much fun, perhaps? Oh, the Octopath Travel. Yes, I've heard of that. Thanks for very good. Hey, you're a big boy. me yeah of course I want to keep it right now where my fish I don't really know why I'm doing this <laughs> I'm guessing there's some sort of reward what do you want to do where my fish whoa this fish is huge looks like a new record nice what do I get Five fucking rupees. It cost me 20 just to go fishing. I think you've been cheated. Right, I've got one more fish. Try and hook a monster. You. You 
actually look really small and crap, but I don't want you. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the uh, deceptive water. Uh, the refraction of light through water causes things to look different. Maybe it's absolutely enormous. Maybe it's Moby Dick. <laughs> I just said Dick. Pretty big. Yeah. It's a point in four pounds. Right, one more of them bigger than six. I, I refuse to believe that the, the, the new record just gives you bloody five rupees. No, 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 no. Back There we go. Are you tempted? Would you like to live deliciously? Ah, what a load of horse shit. I'm going. Stupid fucking game. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's catch a fish there. Piss off, but Lord, I ain't coming back here. <laughs> Fuck you. Whatever. Ah, you meant to do it when you're older, and then you get bigger fish. Right. Thank you for the hint. Uh, what am I doing? Where am I going? I have the lens of truth, so I need to go back to the castle? To go back in time? To go to the shadow temple? <laughs> oh, look at that. There's like a big tower with a ladder. Can I get over there? I mean, one would assume the answer is yes, because why would it be a ladder? How do you get up there? Oh, hello. Owlman's back. He can give me a lift. How do I hold? Oh, just stand there. Right. I get it. Perfect rendition. Alright, give my big boy sword back. Kind of tempted to go back to the fishing, but I'm like, no, 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 no. Progress the story, dude. Come on. Uh, where was the Shadow Temple? I had to play a song, didn't I, to get to the graveyard? That was the one. Uh, left, right, right down. Left, right down. Left, right, right down. Left, right down. Left, right, right, down. Left, right, down. Yes! <laughs> I shouldn't be so happy the fact I've remembered a very simple pattern after looking at it a few seconds earlier. But I am, all right? <laughs> I thought the window 
was on fire then. Oh, what am I doing? I'm meant to be. What a doofus. still lit. Right, here we go then. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought we could make some sort of secret hidden treasure down there. What about this one? Nope. Just a fool than his fancy. Wait, so is this the Shadow Temple? It is the Shadow Temple. Let me get out that lens of truth. See the skull has disappeared. There's the skull of truth, right? That's mine, boy. What does this do? No, oh, back up. No. Oh! Thought I had to hold it, but apparently I don't. When was the last time you saved? It wasn't too long ago, but I will do it again. stuff and things like a little maze yes I know I have it I always wanted another one of these bloody rooms. Come on then, grab me. Uh, I'm not a child anymore though. I better believe I'm gonna fuck your boy. Put your head down then. Big chest, big chest. Yes. What do you reckon? Mac, Mac, Map or Compass? Or something else? Hover boots. Ah, yes. That makes sense. Be brave. <laughs> Trust in antiquity. 
right, okay. Okay, okay. gonna stand in our way not tonight so if I equip these new boots wait, I should be able to get over there Mick yeah I've done that already way nice oh, another one of these glorious things Right, let's take these boots off because they're like it is absolutely right. There's very little traction. Winner, winner. Boom, 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 boom. I've dodged that actually, if I don't say so myself. Quite happy with that. <laughs> Not happy with that one though. Oh, where's the other one? It's up there. Can I not get up? Oh, can I get up this side? Is that climbable? No. Hmm. No. Uh. Oh. Ow. No. Ah, oh, there's a hook point up there. I see. I see you, baby. Nice. Where was that, though? It had a little face above it. There it is. Silver key? Can only hazard a guess. Educated guess, of course. It's all good. It's all good, man. Hey up, hey up. This is the only way to kill these buggers with fire. Oh, I forgot about these fire arrows. Hell yeah! Which did nothing! arrows, wasn't it? What the hell? I'm locked in. Get off me, you little shed! 
I think it's just a case of beat fuck up. Right, okay. Ha! Right, okay, so they can be killed. Hydrated. Compass, but no map. Right, uh, doesn't really help me at the moment. Over there. Obviously, there's a chest there, so let's go and check the. <laughs> no. Yes. I fancy being red for a bit as well. Uh. Nope, that's the one you're coming through. That's the other one. No, sort of. Okay, so no. At what? No, okay, so there must be something through here then. Right, oh, I see. So forward and then to the right. Map, I hope. You're not Yoda. Fuck off. Why isn't he fading away? I'm really not happy that he's still laid there. Alright, give me the map. Just give me the prize. Huge. So let's take them boot socks. I'm not getting anywhere. But then, as soon as I take them off, I'm gonna have to put them back on to get over the bloody thing anyway. So keep going with the boots. Gotta be this way, right? Okay. Uh, 
so I've just... So there's nothing in there's nothing in here then. There is nothing in there. Right, so it's the other way. Okay. Oh, so there is something behind the other... How do I get... Do I, do I bomb it? Hey, do It is bombable! And I've got a key. Nice. Right. Before we dissolve any further, I'm just going to get up and have a little stretch because I can feel my back give me a little bit of jip. Uh, I will return most quickly. <laughs> or something.
Thank you for uh, bearing with me there. Oh, forgot to pause the music. Grab myself a quick snack as well. I, re I realised that a small Cadbury's egg really isn't <coughs> substantial enough for a man's breakfast. So grab myself a quick snack as well. Here we go. Straight into the spider. Of course. <laughs> Chance to turn around, fair enough. Look, I've got bloody ketchup in my mustache. Shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Well, you didn't tell me that earlier. Well, I actually, you'd actually but still. The spider's coming down and infecting them right here. Right here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> run, 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 run. No! Need my uh, hover boots, don't I? Oh, right back to the top, seriously? <sighs> You're dead. We killed you. This was my most hated dungeon, not the water temple. It all sucks. <laughs> Oh, 
see ya. <laughs> right, so you have to wait for this to get right to the top. I'm just seething with anger. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Come on. The path before you is obvious. You can do this. Stupid boots off. Yes. There's the other one. Seriously, where is the other one? Ah, yeah. It's underneath the damn thing. Hey. Deeply unfair. But whatever. We made it. Right, what horrors are next? <laughs> The truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Mildly impractical, but. Ah, the stone umbrella! Got you under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Don't be money. I've already got too much. I hate the idea of having too much money. You just you found room, wouldn't you? Okay. Oh, 
I've literally just opened that jump. Come on. Sorry guys, I'm, st I'm still here. I just need to go to the toilet again. When you spend the weekend drinking Guinness, it does things to you. <laughs> I'll be as quick as I can.
Going on there. Oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> but now, where do I go from here? So, there is something there, but it doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, it's a way down. Right, okay, so. Right, ideally. I need to be back on. Oh, hello. Door over there. Okay, let's get me flirty boots back on. Sometimes she goes green when there's stuff like this. No! Right. Can I get over there? You know what? I think I might be able to. Only one way to find out. Way! Okay, what was that? 
Oh my goodness, there's a whole platform there. <laughs> I love it! Even more? Yep. Useless. Great. I love useless things. <laughs> um right now where? Uh back up, I guess. I mean, my shield. Got something weird about his back. Right, it's okay. I can, go on, I can just walk on this because it's tough to walk on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, down you go. I was just trying to kill him to stop him being annoying, but there we go. Uh, right. Hopefully a silver key for that door up there. No! 
to get the silver stuff to <coughs> it's off oh there is one there what the hell how did I not see that because it's not there if you don't have the lens on a tricksy old thing this isn't it what absolute outrage them into the fire. No, I missed. That's okay, I have plenty. Oh, yes, silver key. <sighs> the 
This is very stressful. <laughs> There's one in this room. I don't know why I even tried. It's whispering in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will be led to the hidden path. That's what they're saying. I get that, but I ain't got the silver. Oh, there's, oh, there's a hidden chest literally on the floor. Isn't there? Hello? What? What are you on about, Navi? It's there in the corner. So what the hell are you doing in the center of the room? Do you know what? Oh, it's not even a fucking key. Being dicks. Stop being dicks. <sighs> now what? Uh, excuse me. Uh, a little 
little gap. Just a little gap. Which means we think it belongs in the little gap. What the hell is that? Is that a bell? Is that a ship? Can I ring the bell? That looks like the bottom of a boat. Ah, this is how you reach the ladder. There's no hitbox. This is a boat of some description. Okay, so before I go on that, there was a little something to explore over here, so... Nothing there, climb up here. Oh shit, I'm back here! I remember you. Right, okay. Where is that spider? There, maybe? It's possible. Then the fucker will ruin the day. Move like that, do they? <laughs> oh! God, here's one of you, buggers. Ship! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right. Oh. Uh, um, okay, there's a door. I can start there. I don't think I can make that as it stands at the moment. What the hell's this? A bit of decoration or something I actually need? Not sure yet. Let's go through here. Oh, 
Not having this. What the hell? Get off me, you little shit! Can't see that. I'm blocking the way, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not. We're all good. Oh shit balls! This isn't good. Let me guess. There's a hole in one of them. No. <laughs> Can I burn the damn thing that's made out of wood? Haha! <laughs> Can. That's awesome. Oh, boss key. Fuck yeah. I have no idea how to get to the boss room, but it's nice to have the boss key. Or should it be a trap? Oh no, it's real. Right, okay. <laughs> Useless. Okay, I have a boss key. That's awesome. Oh, they're back. I hate respawning baddies. Okay, so there's two other sides of this to explore. Here's one. Somewhere. Might actually be down there again. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Right, let's take these boots off because getting any sort of stability and direction in them is, is ludicrous. This is embarrassing as much as it is painful. Oh! Hard boss. 
Oh, come on, I knew that was shit when I let go of it. Yes! One more. What? What? I don't get it. Why did you why did you make a bad noise at me? Thank God for that. Really? All that just for some money? I don't need money. I've got maximum money. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Bollocks to everything. Let's get out of here. This is pain. Right, I have one more to go, and it's south. So, oh. Apparently, there is definitely a chest in here. Hmm. I have no idea what you were, but you were going to die. Hey, Warden, how's it going, dude? Trying to defeat blind, like, invisible enemies. Jesus, how are you doing today, my dude? Remember where there's a locked door anymore, but never. Just in case you're wondering, it kind of looks like Valen's bedroom. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, right. So east and then south. Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate that. I won't call you now in case you're lurking, but welcome to Chuck's Place. I hope you enjoy your stay. Why, why, why are you up there, Navi? What, what's up there that you want me to see? You don't talk to me anymore, you don't communicate. You just say, listen, and then nothing happens. Right, let's get my uh, lens of truth back out. Show you there must be something here that I'm not seeing. give it a go and try and get across there with me but I think that's a bit too long of a gap if I'm quite honest. That's correct. Mm. Okay. What is this damn thing? Can I blow it up? There's lots of bottoms over there. But... I've decided I don't want to play this anymore. I'm just happy watching others go through it. Yeah, you make the smart choice there, Doc. <laughs> I 
So, how, I mean, how do I get back? Can I get back? I don't think I can. What the hell are you? Oh, okay, you're like a big moth thing. So that's a fallen moth statue thing. Okay. Doesn't help me get over there, though, does it? I've got the key to get into there. Say that one more time, just for a second. Mm. This is as bad as it gets, to be fair, yeah. There's no hidden platforms. There doesn't seem to be any obvious way of getting back up there. Let's consult the map. I've been everywhere and I've got every chest. So this is it, this is the end game, how to get across there. Hmm. Hmm. Can I, is it possible to like grab onto bomb flowers? Let's try that. Might be, I've never tried before to be honest. Doesn't look like it. Let's try again for posterity. Sensitivity driving me crazy again. No. Clustered together. Nope. Ah! Uh oh. <laughs> you remember that bit in Hot Fuzz where the, this pointy bit falls, falls off the top of the church? I was expecting one of those moments just then. Right. We are over. It's boss time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a single fairy, do I? No. Okay, let's... There's no obvious way of getting up there. I don't know why I do this every time. Uh, just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> ah! It actually worked! I want you to disappear. I mean, you can do. How do I get up there? Ah, oh, fuck it. I just have to go for it and try not to die. I have very little faith in my abilities here. Got the key. Okay, get my boots back up. If you're gonna die, die with your boots on. You can't get to that one right now. There's something specific you need to do to get those hearts, right? Okay, well bollocks to it. Let's see if I've got what it takes to defeat whoever this is in one go. That doesn't look good. I don't want to go down there. There's genuinely nothing in here that can help me. No. Whoa. It's like a drum. Oh, it is a drum. And I have a giant. What? Oh god, what's this thing gonna be? Dig that funky rhythm. It's a... It's one of Valen's punched oranges. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. 
hello. Oh, I get it. I need to do both of his hands at the same time. Where's the other one then? Come here. I miss off. Right, so if they're both hurting. Uh -oh. Jesus, what the hell? Oh, I can only see it with the thing in. Right, oh shit, I'm gonna die any second now as well. Bollocks! Where's it going to send me back to? Is it start of the temple? Oh! Fuck off. Right. <laughs> I'm not having it. I'm not doing it. Um. Right. God, that's going to be awful. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of prep work before we go there. Eh, 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 eh. Right. I want to be a real boy. It's very frustrating. thinking do you know what dr Safira? i think you're fibbing i don't think that was a great start They don't fall in, man. Ooh, my ass is hurting. What the hell? I've been sat here for four hours. It doesn't feel like that at all. Explains why my ass is hurting, though. What? Oh, what? You mean I can't get my fairies because you're a little telltale shit? can't see me now. Oh, fuck off! <clears throat> My plans did not go quite as well planned. <laughs> broken if you give me money that's what i'm talking about 500 rupees what a winner yes we should add that before the last temple right hey okay, ho can't win them all what i need is more bottles to carry more fairies around with me
around to face my demons, my friends, and go and play the chicken game at the ranch, which I have catastrophically failed at at least 10 times. Maybe even a few more. Fuck off, weird zombie dogs. Bet he's not going to let me do it at night, is it? Hey, you just can't get the staff. I tell you, you just can't get the staff. I have no interest in you and you or your words, Navi. I, I keep feeling like I'm going to sneeze, but it doesn't happen. Quite frustrating. You might let me do it. No. Ah! There's one where I can get the sun to come out. Hey! Is it still going to be raining though? Yeah. Come on in, boys. The water's fine. Right then, Lon Lon Chicken Fuck. Wake up. No, 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 I know it's that one, yes. As for the others, not a lot of clue. Oh, stop rolling, you stupid shithead! This may take a while, my friends, and it may cause anger. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got no chance. Some tactics you can use. I'm all ears. Marry Malin? No, I'm alright. Throw as many of them as possible into the space behind him by the stairs before you start. Ah, I see. That's a good idea. But too late now. I've done it. I did it. Old school. Pure win. <laughs> Hashtag pure win. <laughs> So there's room for one more bottle. Uh... <sighs> Where's the last bottle?
So the ones I've got so far are that one. The one that you get off the girl in the village for finding all her chickens. And the one you get at the bottom of the lake with Princess Ruto's note in it. Oh, you can drink it more than once. That's interesting. However, I understand... Kill ten big pose. You mean the ghost things that that dude was on about in the... Right, okay. Do you have to kill them? Or do you have to capture them? Because I know you can put them in bottles when you kill them. Hey. Sure up, Navi. Let me about to give you a bottle for capturing them. Okay, I can't be asked running around capturing 10 pose. That's ridiculous. So I think three bottles will have to do for now. Let's go try this boss again. If I can remember even how to get to the damn boss. Actually, Beardy, can you just pop in the mod chat thing? Um, uh, try and sort out sensitivity of stick on N64 controller in RetroArch because I think there's some... In fact, I know that there's some like mini games where you can win bits of heart and stuff. But with the sensitivity as it is at the minute, I'll have no chance. I have tens returned from the 7-Eleven with Toblerone and Dormon themed cans of tuna. Dormon? What's Dormon? Apart from the guy that doesn't let you in the pub at three in the morning. <laughs> Fuck it, Dormon wouldn't let me in. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might have to go and uh, hoovering Smith's art piece. I think that's a good idea, Beardy. But we'll have a go at this first. Let's head to the uh, graveyard and get my fairies filled up. <laughs> Quite good at that one. Go on then, baby. Hit me with it. Hit me. Go and fill up my bottles of fairy. The game in the marketplace where you have to choose the correct chests. I don't think I've been in there yet. I suppose if these respawn here all the time, it certainly won't be too hard. Fuck it, I'll do it. There's one. There's another one here. Oh, he bugged off. Where did he go? easy as I thought. There you are. What are you keep running away from before? Great. Bow and arrow. Actually, that hook shot will do it. Hopefully. Because, I mean, the game's only going to get harder, isn't it? So, that's not a big pull. Huh? What's it? What's a big pour then? I like the bugger girl then. Um, an instant bubble tea. I've never had bubble tea. I don't even know what it is. Is it like carbonated tea? Fizzy tea. <laughs> They're bigger. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll make do with what I got then. Let's go get some heart pieces. T 
Ballsy with balls in. Okay, <laughs> remind me to say no if I'm ever at someone's house and people would you like some bubble tea. No, I'm good. I'm good. Keep your balls out of my tea. Thank you. Tea bagging. <laughs> Guys all getting together comparing their pose. <laughs> right, and heal me. Thank you. Uh, what am I doing? Just equipping some shit, I guess. Right, the lens and, of course, the ocarina. Right, that's in that case, I have no idea uh, where a big Poe is. Um, did you say that the chest game is in the marketplace? Which I'm guessing means I have to revert to a child. A child! <laughs> I know that I think this is a this is a bow and arrow thing this one but I can with the sensitivity of my stick settings the way they are there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do this at all because it's too damn sensitive okay so I'll come back another time a delicious tea from Taiwan either served hot or cold with balls made of tapioca I don't know what tapioca is. I've heard of tapioca starch. Yeah, because isn't the... Can I just... That's it, because in that hole there, there's a heart piece next to the cow. But I couldn't figure out how to get it. I was about to say, now I've got hover boots, can I make it? But I don't think it works like that. There's another heart piece on the top of this mountain up here. Let's go see if I can get that. I remember that. It was like on top of the entrance to the Dodongo's cavern. Hey, dude. Are you okay down there? Please sell me something. Please. Uh, no. So that's a shot. And that's a shop. They're both shops. Nothing for me here. Ba, 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 ba. What this one? Can I spend my dollar? Potions. Fish. Oh, I can. Oh, it's literally just a way to get behind there. Right, okay. Oh, there's a piece of heart in the in the uh, in the uh, in the windmill. Oh, this hasn't been opened. Why not? Nice. Fish and spiders and butterflies. Oh my. Right, how do I get this bit of heart in the, in the window? Oh. Are oh, you two still dancing seven years later? That's kind of adorable. Okay, you're just a unbreakable brick. Great. Uh, I can't remember what we did when we came out inside the windmill. What were we doing? It's a well. Was it 
Dampier's skill trial, time trial thing. Is that how we came to the top of that? Which isn't in that one. It's in this one. Fuck off! Right, so he's not a giant foe. Or a big foe, even. You silly bastard! This should take me to the windmill, I hope, I think. I could be completely wrong. Something did, I just can't remember what it was. Hey! Right. one. Let's go get the one that's on top of Dodongo's cavern. See as I'm here. If I can. I can't tell. Music kicks in just then because I left. <laughs> Music starts playing when I'm not around anymore. Oi! Shitbird. Um. No. What am I chicken for? No. <laughs> mentally fatigued. <laughs> I 
actually think this is the way. Unless I can get up and over that, which I can't. It's on top of there, so which makes me think that I actually need to be going this way. Oh, hello. What's in there? A chest. No doubt with something rubbish in. I was right. About well, 50 rupees is actually alright. I keep forgetting I've got the bigger wallet now. Right, so something here, perhaps? Can I climb up this now? Ah, I see. It's there, look. Can't climb up now. What about over there? Useless of killing these bricks, aren't they? Unless the hammer will do it. Oh, two hits does it! Right, okay. But still, I don't seem to be able to get onto that. How the hell do I get over this little fence? Unless maybe I use my hover boots from here, or is there a way up there from around here? No. Uh, I think hover boots might do it, you know. Let's give it a try. all of these now make avoiding the bricks a lot easier the, the rolling stone that is. and i don't mean that Ooh, the star is oh, that rolling stone although it is one of my favorite songs of all time Oh yeah, I can. Hey, hello. Can you see it from there? Death Mountain is back to normal. Hey! Pointless conversation. Thank you. Uh, so I need to become a child and then use the lens of truth in the chest area. And I don't mean boobs. <laughs> Although I don't love boobs. Who doesn't love boobs? The horse actually stayed there. For some reason, I thought it just like despawned whenever you bugger off, but it does, it stays around. I keep forgetting I've even got a horse, so I walk everywhere. <laughs> smart move going around and trying to get some extra health because that boss wiped me out very 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 quickly <laughs> Oh yeah, marketplace. Why is it giving that fairy? I'm not sure, but Ah, oh, 
so nice for it to be all peaceful again. Yeah. I don't know why Link looks like he's a ghost in this particular scene. I think it's a some sort of lighting issue. Uh, right, so I don't know where it is, but there's something where I can look at chests, right? <laughs> and I don't mean Pornhub. Yeah, I don't want a mask. Go away. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. La 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 la. Might be that. The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Hello. What's this? Oops, those green eyes. Welcome to our Cutting Edge Amusement Centre. The Bomb Chew Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a sea crew. That's not much of a temptation, is it? Oh, ow. 30 rupees? Yes. Aim for the hole in the center and let Bomb Chew go. You get 10 tries. Ready? Let's ball. I almost forgot. Here is what you can win. A heart piece. Magnificent. Uh, okay. I mean... they get more difficult and there's chickens oh and if you hit something it goes boom right I see ah <laughs> more tricksy than we first thought nope come on come on come on nope <laughs> oh piss off What? <laughs> I blew up the poor girl behind the counter. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. I've only got one left. Right. Okay, at least I get b b a better idea now of what it is I'm trying to do. That's a big bloody chicken. It's walked right in the path of my bomb. Oh, no, it hasn't. Hey! Not bad. First try. No, I'm good. Alright, you don't have to play if you don't want to. Sounds like a shot in a conflict. <laughs> I don't shit in conflict, by the way. Uh, is this another archery range, given the archery sign on top? I'm going to hazard a guess that it is. Yep. Uh, is it down one of the back alleys? No. Hello, you look well shifty. What, 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 what? Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering around all day? Hello, kid. You can go to home. Strange, this door doesn't open. Okay. More loiterers. Are you cottaging, sir? That looked like a door, but I don't think it was. Two doors. Are you okay? Hey, Sonny, I'll tell you something helpful. I heard there is a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. I found it. You've got nothing for me, sir. Nothing. This is somebody's house. Ah, it opens at night. I see. Right, so is this the one where the lens of truth can help then, so I can see what's in the damn things? has a key to progress and one doesn't. That makes 
sense. Is it randomly generated or are they all just always in this end? <laughs> We're at four and three quarter hours. I'm going to have a break. Uh, so I'm going to call it there. There we go. Uh, thank you very much for spending the afternoon with me. I might be back this evening. Uh, if I need distraction from my brain and I'm not getting that on my own, then I may pop back onto stream. Uh, I might not. I don't know. I'll post in Discord if I do come online. But thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the follows, for the subs, for the raid, uh, and for earlier coming together as a community and discussing mental health problems because it affects all of us at some point some of us more than others and a member of the community is in need and we managed to you know gather around and, and and pick them up um so yeah uh thank you so much everybody uh let's go see who's online in fact i know i know i'm raiding actually i'm raiding valen because he got given a um he got given a, an early access code for this game about being a rock star Sounds like my kind of thing. I saw what he was. Oh, this target channel has disabled raids, which means he's he's coming to the end of his stream. He does that at the end uh, so that people don't raid him and they disappear. So we're not raiding, Valen. Let's go see who's online then. Yeah, it's called Infinite Guitars, apparently. Uh... Uh... What are you doing today? What are you doing today? Let's have a look. It's a Doritos advert, so I can't actually see what's going on. Okay, it's, it's double crafting. He's been on four hours himself, to be honest. That's totally fair. Uh, we're going to go and raid Pixie. Pixie Bomb, who is with... I believe that is Pad Thai Gaming. Yes, it is. And they're both making things. <laughs> I uh, I keep thinking I want to get back into my uh, cross stitch. I used to really enjoy doing cross stitch as a younger man. Uh, but yes, yeah, so thank you everybody. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please use the first Nightbot message. If you are a subscriber, please use the second Nightbot message. Uh, we are going to go and see Pixie Bomb. Again, I may be back this evening. I might not. We'll see how my uh, head goes. But other than that, thank you very much for being here. Love you all to pieces. And I will see you tomorrow, if not tonight. <laughs>